Snoop Dogg sends apology to Gil King in an Instagram video post um, shared on Wednesday. Snoop Dogg said, two wrongs don't make no right. When you're wrong, you got to fix it. So with that being said, Gil King, I publicly tore you down by coming at you in a derogatory manner based off of emotions of me being angry at a question you asked. I overreacted. I should have handled it way different than that. I was raised way better than that. So I would like to apologize publicly for the language that I used and calling you out, um, calling you out your name and just being disrespectful. I did not mean for it to be like that. I was just expressing myself for a friend that wasn't here to defend himself. Snoop Dogg was furious that um, Gil King brought up rape allegations from Brand's past interview with um, her interview with Lisa Leslie. Kobe Brand was killed in a helicopter car crash a helicopter crash last month along with his young daughter and um, seven others mm. right so um i think snoop dogg is just being a bigger man and like he said two wrongs don't make a right and um at the end of the day 50 cent said the right thing that for those that would ignore the message and pick the words he used a lot of foul words when he was addressing this but there's absolute truth in everything Snoop Dogg said and everything he was trying to address because um, Gil King was trying to bring down the legacy of a man that was great and isn't there. Okay, I see, I see Omar is already getting, you know, <laughs> when she has this conjuring moves, but before she starts her analysis, let's take a look at the video. Stop at the moment, Snoop Dogg coming at you live and direct with a message. Two wrongs don't make no right. When you're wrong, you gotta fix it. So with that being said, Gail King. I publicly tore you down by coming at you in a derogatory manner based off of emotions, me being angry at questions that you asked. Um, overreacted. I should have handled it way different than that. Uh, I was raised way better than that. So I would like to apologize to you publicly for the language that I used and calling you out of your name and just being disrespectful. I didn't mean for it to be like that. I was just expressing myself for a friend that wasn't here to defend himself. Um, a lot of people look up to me and they love me and they appreciate me, so I want to let them know that. Anytime you mess up, it's okay to fix it. It's okay to man up and say that you're wrong. I apologize. Hopefully we can sit down and talk privately. Have a good day. All right, so... You fell my... No, no, let me oh, just... Oh, you are not done. You know, I wasn't okay. was mm -hmm. um, She has... Um, I had to, of the story, but let me just keep going. Um, Girl King was trying to bring down the legacy of a man because she was asking some funny questions for a man that couldn't defend himself. And I think it's become a norm for Girl King and Oprah to be doing this. I oh understand that. God. Hold on. I, I understand that they're, um, they're trying to practice journalism and you don't have to be biased when it comes to your questions and all of that. By the end of the day, um, Kobe Bryant was never convicted of any of those allegations that were brought against him in the first place. So um, I, even if you want to do that, I just felt it was too soon for you to be insistent. Because even when um, Leslie, the lady in question, was talking about um, Kobe Bryant and how much of, he is a great guy and she has other basketball players that would go after ladies and do derogatory stuff to ladies and all of that, but she said she never saw Kobe in that light. <laughs> she never saw him okay, do that. Just because you don't hold see on, someone. Hold on, And then Leslie was, and girl was like, uh, you will not see that though. He's your friend. Do you understand? Like, and that's what are facts. You, no, no. It's not about being facts. You're trying to get words out of a lady that has told you that she didn't see. The fact that you don't see, she didn't see. So and it's okay. And she's just stating the fact that, okay, you don't have to see. That's all. Okay, can I come in here? Are you, are you done? Yeah, go on. Okay, so before you come in, because I feel like when you start, we're <laughs> going to leave this topic entirely. <laughs> um, for this apology from Snoop Dogg, I think, like Ife rightly said earlier, it's, um, it shows how mature he is. And he talked about having a conversation with his mom, and he realized that he could have done it in a better way. So he's not apologizing for calling her out. Yeah. He's just saying His that message is on point. he could have um, said it in a better way and not used the whole curse word because a lot of people look up to him and he should live um, by example, you know. So 
um, I understand where he's coming from. And of course, I saw so many reactions. They were like, you don't need to apologize for anything. You didn't do anything. She deserved it and blah, blah, blah. But this is a man who has lived so many decades and he's telling you, you know what? I did it in the wrong way. I could have um, put my message across without calling her out of her name or using any derogatory terms on her. So I, I appreciate that he's doing this. And he said one thing, when you know you've done something wrong, it is your responsibility to apologize Definitely. and um, fix up. I think a lot of black men especially can take cues from that. There's many, many men, not even half the size of um, um, Snoop Dogg that haven't achieved, months, haven't achieved much. You can call them scumbags for lack of a better word and they can't even see themselves apologizing for something that's evidently wrong. And I think uh, it's a really good example of a thug-like <laughs> man, you know, just being respectful. Um, so kudos to him for that. Uh, I, I don't know, obviously I wasn't here when Kobe died and all that, and there was a lot of um, noise around his death. I think one thing people need to understand is that not everyone saw Kobe as a great guy, and that's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. not, not everyone, everyone can like you. Let me finish because guy. I did not interrupt you. So um, everyone didn't see him as that, and you have, to, you have to understand that that case was dismissed. Mm -hmm. Not that it was, he was proven innocent or that he was proven guilty. It was dismissed. There's a lot of reasons why a case can be dismissed. He's not here anymore, yes, but the victim is still alive. Her family is still alive. So if they feel like, I, I don't think that because somebody has died, then they, you, they need to um, silence that voice. I've always been and I'll always be a champion or a voice for people who are being oppressed for whatever reason that is. Um, and you can say that that case is already like a power play in terms of him being a celebrity and him being powerful and she's like an underage young girl. So um, I think that people are allowed to have that. As a journalist, someone that is not biased, it is okay to ask that question because no, as, soon as, as soon as he, he um, died, there was a lot of people coming out. It wasn't just Gail. A lot of people coming out to say that. Um, you know, insensitive rest in peace. Um, but you cannot say it's sensitive. What, the, what about the victims? Um, I think the smartest thing for Gail, for me, would have been for her not to even say anything at all. But that she did say, I don't think it's wrong. I just think she, I, I, I'm not, I cannot imagine that she wouldn't know that this type of backlash would be there. And then she also responded, which we didn't talk about. Yeah. Well, no, and gave I'm her gonna, perspective I'm go, I'm as things. well. And she, and she also made it clear to people that it wasn't that she wanted to diminish his legacy. It is part of his legacy. She did not bring something up that's a lie. Mm -hmm. Diminishing somebody's legacy will be saying that, did you know he raped someone and we've never heard of that? This was in court. This is out there. The people are still alive. Her friends and family. The, the whole system that were in support of that was still alive. So all she did was bring up a very obvious and strained um, incident that's happened in his life. It's the same mm. thing with um, uh, Michael Jackson and all the others. Which just is because somebody is, is perfect, do, um, but just because you like somebody doesn't mean that they are perfect, is what I'm trying to say. Mm. All right, so um, talking about what girl King also said in her apology, she also said that um, she was talking about um, NBC. Was it NBC or ABC? NBC, CBS. Yeah? CBS, sorry. That um, a network, she doesn't know why they put that out there. She was also offended that people Yeah, because had to they took that. it out of context, From, no, not no, because no, no, she no, didn't no, say no, it. Because no, they, no, not no, because no. they took it out of context, they did not because take they it out used of just context. that part. I don't know yes, if that that's had, taking out I, of context. I remember that's what that means. Say, I said it on this table. <laughs> I also do not know why she was going at her network, because you granted an interview. So it was there. Yeah, but you, was take, you can take things out there. of context to make it, it look bad. Taking it out of context. You know, it's not their fault that people decided to take it out of context. You could wait to watch the you full You literally took a bit out to of a full it. context. That's what it means to take something yeah. out of context. So because now you're saying, it was well, part let me, of on Twitter, let me get it looked right. like, let on me Twitter, it looked right. like she brought her friend. You're not going to blame CBS for the brain that people on Twitter has. Hold on, let me explain something. So you're saying it is fine for her to ask that question and do all she did. And I mean, it's a conversation. Yes. But you're saying it is wrong. For the network to take that part. No, I'm not saying Because I'm you also saying, felt what I'm you not, did was stupid. That's the only wrong. reason why you'll be I'm blaming not, the network. I'm not saying it, it is wrong for CBN to put that out there. When, when I was on Twitter when that story broke, mm -hmm. it looked like she brought that girl in to ask her about Kobe's rape allegation. And that was not the case. Was it's that a 15 the, was minute that the only interview. You know what? They brought did out you? a three minute section mm -hmm. from all the other good things that they talked about. That is what you, that is the did definition you, you of taking things said? out of context. Did you hear That's what she said in her apology? She said, if I had seen that part too, I will be mad at me. Because she knew that was very, very wrong. And it's then, not, it's that, that, she's not saying, she's not apologizing for what she said. She's apologizing that people are only seeing one aspect of her looking like she's tearing Kobe down. And that's mm. not what she did. 
She said well, she celebrated the guy in the whole 15 minutes and only like that three to... minutes was about the rape. There's nothing yeah, wrong with that. I would like that. to, I mean, for Twitter, Twitter can take between two minutes, 20 seconds to four minutes, 20 seconds, depends on the kind of account you have. Yeah. yeah? So I can't remember for the life of me now what the caption of that tweet was. But if the caption was clear and saying, this is a part of an interview, then it is fine. But you, everybody fine. knows it's a part of an go, interview. If everybody knows Even it's a part of an interview and decides to, to take that. it out of context, why are you blaming a network? That's what she's I'm not, saying. She's just saying that it looks... For, so what we were talking about yesterday about the headlines. Mm -hmm. the, the head, the, those guys that were blaming women no, about, 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 about things is, is that... Wait, wait. Wait. Mm -hmm. I, I grant an interview as a woman. Mm -hmm. I talk about my single life. The the in, the network or whatever decides to put that one thing into but as the heading. You know, is that taking things out of context? No, it's you not. We also agreed. An interview. That's no, a hold on. It's the same also, thing, if it. But we also agreed that there is nothing wrong in choosing whatever headline you want to choose, but we have to do better in changing the narrative and yeah. saying better things about the gender and mm -hmm. balancing it. So, I mean, Would you not say that in that same light? No, no, what she was focus. saying. Let's really okay. focus on the topic, which is Snoop Dogg apologizing. And I've said my piece on it. I we think you have, have also. Yeah. And I don't know if you did, but yeah.